At 11, a small plane plummets from the sky, crashing down onto tractor trailers below, setting several of them on fire. Tonight, authorities say there are no survivors, but it's still unclear exactly how many people were on board the small plane. It appears the flight was doomed from the get-go. Witnesses say it crashed less than a mile away from the airport it departed, landing on the property of a nearby plant. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn is live near the crash site tonight. And Patrick, there were actually people working at that factory at the time of the crash. That's right. This happened mid shift at the General Mills factory here in Covington, and we are standing just outside the perimeter. The crash itself happened roughly 100 yards from where I am standing, and actually just within the last five minutes, we did get an update. The initial investigation shows there were two people on board, and officials told us the two worst words when covering a plane crash, no survivors. A frantic scene after a plane went down at the General Mills factory in Covington. Uh, obviously, uh, this is a devastating crash and there are no survivors. Just before 7 o'clock, before the smoke, Rachel Barber saw the plane. This one was just very low. She said it was struggling as it left the runway at the nearby Covington Municipal Airport. And it was not very far over the top of us. And it didn't sound great. I didn't know if it was loud just because it was pretty low. Um, but the wings were, were kind of wobbling a little bit. Officials said moments later, the twin engine Cessna plane then went straight down, missing the factory, crashing into four trailers used to transport General Mills cereal across the country. All you can see right now is just a lot of burnt metal. The crash came in the middle of a shift at the factory with more than 400 employees. A spokesperson for General Mills told me, quote, no employees were harmed and we're partnering with the FAA and local law enforcement. Officials said the crash happened roughly 300 yards from the factory. Captain Malcolm with some relief knowing what could have been. This is a horrible a situation, a horrible scene. Obviously, uh, you know, the, the, the fact that it didn't, you know, crash into the plant, you know, saved many lives. That's certainly true, and I'm told the FAA investigators there, they are now on scene. They are starting their investigation that will run through the night. I'm told the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, they will also be a part of this investigation. And again, we do not know the cause of this crash. I do want to stress just within the last five minutes, officials told us the initial investigation shows there were two people on board. Neither survived. Live tonight in Covington, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News.